can see Envy attacking. It's going to be Sentinels on defense to start here. And we'll see what the first setup is. Omens, whatever way they're looking, you can tell where the smokes will go, that dark vision to start the round out. And it looks like everybody's just kind of huddled in mid here for Envy as they look for a starting pick on Sentinels. Here we go. First blood, who is going to draw it this time? Envy's taking their time over at A, and I like this. You know Dapper is going to be here every round. The question is, is Shazam right next to him? Are they trying to bait you in for a quick trade? So taking their time, checking every corner before they make a move. And yep. of course, on that Killjoy, this turret has been so good at watching their back. Once you have it set up, you know you don't have to worry about any flanks coming from A or potentially window. A lot of times we see the B to Acon hold here once an initial strategy has been in place. And we just heard Caboose talking about how Envy is a very mid-round stratting team. They'll kind of go off the flow, what they saw first, and again, here's that B strat pocket. Will they go for Akon side and try and protect? Here we go. Keep your eyes on Mummy to get the first pick as he's looking for it. There it is. Headshot's going to land. Caboose is going to find one as well. But Shazam, well, he did at least a minimal amount of damage. Gets one pick, didn't get the second but gives his team a chance on the retake here. Finesse with a big fight in Garage, and now the front is open. We can see a pinch coming in from Sentinels. Such big kills from Zombs. He is absolutely controlling this round. If that flank worked from Envy, this was over. But Zombs with the 4K. Oh my god, it starts from Garage, and he wraps it up into the bomb site. Good start by Envy. They spread out around B properly. That small kill coming in from Shazam causing a little bit of chaos, but it all came down to that garage fight for me. Finesse was kind of holding Absolutely. the back line. When he falls, the rest of the team from Sentinels can crash in, and Zom's finding four. The man that's going to have money. Is he buying a Phantom right away? I wouldn't be surprised to see him go with a heavy invest here. Oh, my. And he, he go, he'll go. Maybe we'll see him go to his den behind the sea dumpster to start off for the first three rounds. It seems like Zom's can pick up so much from there, and he is already vibing to start off the first round of the Grand Finals. Look at the dance, baby. Oh. Great paranoia followed up to finish out the round. Can't ask for a better performance from your omen in an opening round. And it'll be Envy trying to figure out how do we pull off an eco going up against the better weaponry. Sinatra going with his patented LMG play from Garage. Just quickly on top. <laughs> Good damage there from Zoms onto Mame with the Bulldog. As they're out. Looks like they got the ultimate orb down at the bottom. So. Envy definitely having the idea they want to get a few of these orbs, farm it up. They feel like going down a few rounds on Sentinels will mean they need their ultimates early to fight back. Sinatra is going to bust out the Owl Drone and get all the information that they are not at C. They're definitely not at B, so they must be coming A. A flank coming in from Sick as he takes some fire from the <laughs> turret. Worth it as he trades out with a kill on Caboose. Doesn't even care for a moment there. Leaves it up, and he will now create pressure, right? He's leaving, but we see Calypso will always have to turn around, look for him, and they'll be worried about the flank for a moment if they hear that turret go off again. Committing now to the site. What a camera here by Dapper. He sees exactly what's going on, and they're going to be able to pretty much thwart this if Envy wants to try. And I don't think Envy can at this point. Mm -hmm. They're realizing it as well. We've got 36 seconds left. We've got to go for a plant in the next 15. Let's get on the move. And you can see it was Akis walking his way out of the site. Is going to be looking yeah. for Sick here. The last time they saw the Phoenix, he was hanging out in that window area. You can see how unsure they are. You have to regain all of this information, and they're moving as a kind of death squad here. All three members look like they'll go through garage. Maybe one stay window, but everybody in sight could be beneficial. It's going to be a rush here, Pocket. Let's see what they can do. Zoms was just close enough to hear those footsteps, and he's going to make the call. Look at these green bodies all rotating on the mini-map. They're going to wait till everyone is ready, though, before they go on the pounce. And Vanessa is able to find the first, but Sick is there on the trade. This is kind of expected, but nice job by Envy to at least get a plan off. Any kills here is a small victory. And this is great. Obviously, we see Sentinels with guns, but they're not running through those smokes as Envy's trying to create these little 1v1s. Patience from Sentinels, and they take the site. Obviously, Envy trying to get in and get the bomb down is nice as they get money coming into their first gun round. Round three here as it comes in. And again, I love the pick of the Phoenix here from Sick. Put away Sage. Don't worry about playing slow yep. and safe. Let's make it a little bit difficult for them to read. We'll go with a late push in this round. Mm -hmm. Finds Caboose, takes a little bit of turret damage, but no big deal. He ends up with three kills in that round and is able to invest in the Phantom. So ARs are out across the board. I believe you're still going to see a Bulldog in the hands of Zombs. But can we flick over to Shazam? Does the man have the operator? 
On the other side, Mummy does. So Shazam just mm -hmm. with the Bulldog from Zoms. It'll be Sinatra still holding his Ares. I love Weapon that. Weapon advantage going to the attackers here from Envy. I love that they can just kind of bonus the Ares in. No, Sinatra's going to want to spam all the time from Garage and make that really difficult to take. Right now, they leave that open just to keep checking and see if they can get any info before Dapper's traps reveal what's going on. Dapper's cam is now long. And again, another slow work from Envy. Once again, trying to really mid-strat through the round as the team delivers information they're getting to FNS. I think Mummy is going to be a key player in this matchup, not just on this map, but throughout the best of five. When they first met up, he was off his game. Caboose was off his game. Calypso was playing relatively strong. Same thing with Finesse. Mm -hmm. but, but you need those two-star players to really step up when you're playing against a juggernaut like the Sentinel. So if Mummy can start winning these opening battles with the Operator and really set the tone, I think Sentinels are going to have to make some strong adjustments to their defense. So far, though, 45, make it a full minute off the clock now yeah. as it's Envy just bouncing between the sites trying to cause a little chaos on the defensive end and already they are buying an A hit as it looks like three players are set up ready for something that isn't necessarily going to go that direction. Yeah, Envy not getting any of these operator picks to start. Looks like it's going to be that hit in mid with the run it back coming in from Caboose. It's not going to be too much for the team. Just hit his Aegis. Does get a kill onto Shazam. The one for one trade. Nice shock dart from Sinatra. Is going to try to clean up with the spam. How did he make it through? But the retake has to happen as Envy gets the bomb down again. Aegis is so skinny on that kill. Joy gets away with a sliver of health. Four Sentinels up still. And they are going to be clearing the site. Of course, no Sage Wall to just block it up and go for the instant defuse like we're used to. Instead, they've got to go for the kills. And Mummy, he's got that bomb. Pinged can just spam through the smoke as the Omen tries to provide cover. Zoms is going to hop this. The wall of power being set up here by Sentinel is going to happen. Shot from Dark Vision. He, he hits hit him right in the foot. Shoots his big toe off. That would take anybody off a of defusal, but it's going to be back on Ari at half. And a kill from Sinatra gives him four on the round. Threw down the Ares and said, we need a little bit more. Yeah, that Sova's pretty good at finding people. Ares <laughs> upgraded to the Vandal as well. All things going in Sentinel's favor. And yeah, Envy, for me in this matchup, they had Ooh. to win the pistol rounds. If you don't win the first one, you got to get it in the second half. They're off to a very rough start. And this is when Sentinels can just take away the game. I feel that. Seven people standing in front of you, and you still get taken out defusing the bomb. It's like, come on, man. Nightmares, man, nightmares. Coming in here to round four. Shazam with that operator now watching long. We can see Sheriffs in the hands as Dapper makes quick work of one of those Sheriffs. Taking down the Cypher, and Shazam will continue to answer Aww. here. Looks like Envy wants to try to roll through and maybe get that off out of Shazam's hands, but too much lockdown by Dapper and Shazam today. It's such a simple pinch, but it is so annoying to deal with. Like, look at this. Mummy even tries to get aggressive, pushes up. He's met with a cage as well as tagged up by a camera. Sinatra's just spamming him through a wall. He's down to 10 HP. This is ridiculous <laughs> defense out of Sentinels. You started off with Dapper peeking you. Yeah. You try and attack Dapper, Shazam's waiting with an operator on the other side. You try and That's push Shazam? Exactly. Dapper rotates around. The duo pinch has been perfect on A defense, and they showcase it again. It's just pistols here, but you got to love the play that they set each other up for. So he looks, rotates around, comes through, still has the cam lower too, so he can quick check it if you do get heard running away with an earshot of your enemy. It just seems like they have everything set up, even if they have to come back to a play. Sentinel's feeling good now, four rounds up on Envy's pick to start. Now you see Shazam, he's set up in B mid. He's looking for the window peak because that's where Mummy went with the operator last time he was able to go for that buy. So mm -hmm. Shazam looking purely to counter the sniper in the hands of the Envy players. Meanwhile, slow A hit is easing in. Shaz uh, Sinatra continues to spam, but the real work could be done by Sick here to run it back. Oh, slowly going. He thought he was going to get peaked. He did a good amount of damage, though, you can see. It's going to be Mummy with basically zero health on that bar at the top of your screen. Blade Storm is there. Lockdown is there for the Killjoy as Aikis can try to get that up, but Lockdown is down as Dapper makes quick work of that. Phantom shots through long, and the trades are back and forth as FNS has made it into A now. Will they be able to get Phoenix in? Can Caboose get that bomb down? It's a nice push by Envy. They're losing players, but they make the most of it by sending Finesse in. Unfortunately, though, he is going to be pinned again. The spam from Sinatra followed up with Zoms on the other side of the door. 
And it's going to be up to Caboose. Can he be a legend again? Last night he had the 4K. Here he is only getting one. It's going to be Zoms hunting the last remaining member. Calypso has been lurking out in the middle of the map. Now he's on the flank, finds the first, but the Sinatra's still on the site. Oh, he knows he gets to play with an Odin here. With the shadow step to the right. I don't know if that was heard through the... Oh my god, he got him through the paranoia! And Sinatra did not know that switch happened. Paranoia messes with your hearing, and Sinatra comes out with a quick shot on the Odin, if he can even say that. Congrats to oh Calypso for making that one fun to watch, but props to Sinatra. The bird kidding. is clean, finds the headshot, and a quick whip to the right. Here it is one Ooh. more time. Final play after Finesse gets onto this site with the help of Caboose. The players get the spike planted. Calypso with a late flank, and let's see how he plays this one. Paranoia is out, goes across, and I think the Paranoia clears just in time for Sinatra here. But he hears it, and he instantly reacts, finding the headshot and sealing the fifth round for Sentinels in a row. Now, money bonus is there for Envy. They've lost a lot of rounds in a row, and they're going to try and spend every credit they have this round here, Griff. <laughs> Zoms from the homestead on the back of C, spraying down that long portion, and they find two kills through the smoke. That will stop Envy in their tracks on the gun round by. Looks like Bladestorm is going to be coming out here for Mummy, and he instantly gets floored as he drops into the site. Zoms takes down Akis, and it's just one after the other. One more kill here in Cubby, and Sick makes quick work of Calypso. What a round for Sentinels. What a round, absolutely. And so much invested from Envy. They went with both the Omen ultimate as well as the Jet yeah. ult from Mummy. Shut down instantly by Sick, who is behind the dark cover, still able to land some flashes. And then, of course, reacting to that omen, gathering the intel. The punish was there, and it all happened in the first 10 seconds as they opened it up with the Hunter's Fury. Sentinels playing this one incredibly well, countering ultimates with alts of their own. I wonder. We haven't seen too much utility from the attacking side of FNS. If that's going into more guns, if that's going into purchases, because you're not getting trips on the flanks as much. Obviously, a bit of a save here, so you're not going to see that. But we'll pay attention next Ooh. round to FNS's buy and utility use. Shazam with quick pickups here. as a, a bit of a back and forth to start off. Sentinels do lose Sinatra. And Akis did big work there with the Sheriff. He is able to pick up the first kill on six. Sinatra's brought down to, what, 10 HP? Mm -hmm. Hit through the wall with a headshot, <laughs> so that, that could have been even worse. Instead, though, Dapper is just going to walk his way up A saying, hey, guys, I've got the spike. We've got nothing to worry about. Shazam's going to hold my angle. Sheriffs versus Omp. I've got my money on Shazam every time. Dapper is just in the heads of Envy right now. They cannot seem to figure out where he'll be or when. A quick digital molly or give an idea that Envy's trying to retake this position. Nice paranoia to stop that oh, no. retake as Calypso gets a kill. Two kills. Zom's there to finish him off. Ooh, I got nervous for Sentinels there for a <laughs> moment. Calypso started hitting the shots. Zom's on the rotation, though. We'll find him and shut down that progress. But props to Calypso and Akis for the damage they got done with just minimal weapons that round. Okay. Now they've got rifles to play with. This should be a fair fight here in round eight. Envy scoreless so far. It's the grand finals. This is their map pick. Yeah. Attacking never easy against the Sentinel squad, though, that is still holding on to an Odin and an Operator on opposite sides of the map. See, at this point, uh, there are the trips down coming in from FNS, but the, you know, a cam miss, something else to identify is that it's happening. Maybe we like to see Envy use that camera, that utility for the post plant, but I feel like they're not getting enough intel with just the bodies at the beginning of the round. Having that cam be there consistently throughout the round is really what can give you flank info. Bombs. Or spikes drop now at window as Envy look to work this one slow. Again, pick up info, deliver it to FNS, and then make a move. You can see the lurk from Sick on the bottom left of your mini-map. Meanwhile, the nice. big fights are going down at A, and Mummy is going to swing wide, finding Shazam, who is holding the top angle. So with the jet down, no Sage on the map for a res, it's going to be man advantage for Envy. And they're just going to take their time. <laughs> After this pick, they're going to look for the hole and then probably push this one through the garage back over to Seasite. That has been their best point of attack so far mm -hmm. throughout their matchup. It does seem like Sentinels feels a little bit better at retaking C. So on those A plays, they leave it. And this could be to Envy's benefit. 
Zoms quickly checking an area, like pulls back, and you do see the rotation coming out of Sentinels that he didn't see anything, so no info still gives them an idea of what's going on. And look at this. The spike's rotating right back to A. This is so good. What a great reaction from Envy, but mm -hmm. this is a full commit. You got 26 seconds on the clock. You got to go all in here. Caboose is going to be leading the charge. Meanwhile, it's just noise Jump in the middle over. of the map here from good Calypso. Day. He's playing his role, and he's trying to continue to distract. Going to get punished, though, no. by Dapper. Nice lure kill. Oh, my this word. This one back to a 4v4. Dapper, again, right place, right time, takes out the flank, and now Envy has to work with what's in sight. Post-plant utility a little low. They do have the digital mollies on it from Akis, and here comes Sentinels. I Zom's know exactly on the deep way. flank, but there's a tripwire in his way. Meanwhile, Caboose buying time with that blaze wall. And we're going to see Mummy find this second shot. Sick will finally cut him down, and now Dapper comes out with the trade. The neural theft is enormous so far for Sentinels, and everyone will be cut down on the site. Sick is going to get the defuse, and he is going to be another step closer to his third run it back of the first half. You know, I was going to question sending the Odin to heaven, but it doesn't even matter. Everybody's on point. As Sentinels are just retaking with such strength right now, and it, it does seem like they're allowing Envy into situations if the round goes long. They say, well, we don't want to get five manned at a position. We have the retake. And, and they're just, Sentinels is so methodical right now. It's, it's great to watch. Their, their aggressive defense is just giving them so much information. You get an early read by just six presence on the map. Keep your eyes on that yeah. green Phoenix. Wherever he's going, often you know the opponents are not. He's either going to get they first push blood mid? right away. Or he's going to give you that info, and Sick wants to push up behind the distraction from Sinatra. Damage is dealt to Calypso, but everyone survives the first fight. Well, and we get an idea of where the map is, is at the beginning here, I think for the first time in, in the earliest. So we'll see how they move. Good damage towards uh, mid right now. We do see a few are low. And it's going to be the 8 count take. Do they get all the way in here? Shazam has to back off again. Sentinel's okay with the retake. Waiting, and Caboose tries to get the push on. Shazam says, nuh uh. And Shazam continues to take a little bit of damage from that Nano Swarm, but he pops out the blades. The storm is available. No more upwinds, but he is going to be taken down before a knife can go flying. Akis looking nice. for his second as the Killjoy continues to impress. It's exactly what Envy needed, I feel like, to work a little bit quicker and to get Sentinels off their positions. Sentinels just seems to have these angles they're able to hold as Envy has been moving in slow. You have the first angle, defense is going to be able to shoot you pretty good. So their Envy moves quick. They get the utility down all inside of B, and they're able to come up with their first round to see if Sentinels, Sentinels reacts to that and just plays it slow once again. Envy finally on the board. They've got their guns of choice, and they have a huge advantage when it comes to the Ultimates. Three mm -hmm. ready to pop right away, and of course you see Calypso is just one kill from unlocking his. He could be playing for an early orb, or will they just send him in as the second man once again up short A? I like That's that Envy point. continues to work this A behind the turret. That's what stalled out Dapper on the flank last round. Oh, Unfortunately for them, Mummy just walks into a headshot from Shazam, who set up for another, just misses Jeez. wide left, but Dapper is there to clean up the Ness, and this is a great bounce back from Sentinels early on. They're just so confident in their shots. I mean, an off, just, yeah, that's not going to be easy to get out of. A lot of utility is going to be able to, to kill take them. down Dapper. Exactly. <laughs> that's what I was going for. They did get the return on investment, but they invested a lot. And we heard some of the players talking earlier. It's just hard to take out a team that's feeling confident, that's always in your face. And to have Shazam up from there and then Dapper peak, meaning the other team is going to know someone might be there, and Dapper still comes up with the shot? Ugh. Sentinels is just on fire right now. Sinatra already in sight by himself, almost gets two as Caboose opens that up. We'll see how Envy can play this post plant. And you, and you could see the rotation that actually went down from Sentinels. They stayed on B, they stayed on C because Envy, every other time, they've backed up after some initial pressure. So nice job by Envy just to run fully onto the site with the three remaining members. It comes down to the 2v2. Mm -hmm. Sick has curveballs to work with, but so does Caboose. He's going to flank oh at the perfect God, time, what? but that somehow flashes him over the box. Akis is okay. going to save the day, keeps his teammate alive, and Caboose will finish the round. 8-2, Envy winning them back to back, but these have been tight. Almost got scary there. Envy does come up with one, but you're right. There, it's These rounds are down to the last drop, and Envy's actually not coming away with too many guns alive. As we see the beginning of this one again, what work by Shazam and Dapper on A. This is just a hole. 
we can watch over and over again. And I think you got to credit Calypso. You just saw a replay there of how he edged out Shazam. Wasn't expecting a mm -hmm. re-peek from the operator. Calypso picks it up off the dead body, puts it to work. They break on to A and Envy. Well, they've made it back to back. If they could finish 8-4, this would be a big victory on the attack. But Dapper strikes early, not playing A. He runs out through the mid and finds the first pick. Spike still down in the back, but Caboose takes down Zoms. It's four on four. Caboose has definitely said he's feeling it. He feels like he's at the peak of his play here as they reach the grand finals. Fine, sick behind the box. Better sight or better Phoenix wins. Another one impossibly finding. Dapper just around the corner, but they know he's there. So now Intel, Intel to the team. But this is where Dapper thrives. He loves the pressure. And yes, tips his cap to the side of Envy as they do not want part of this party. Caboose already with three. He's in the running for the ace, and as we mentioned, Spike was in the back. It's in the hands now of the Cypher. It's going to be that jiggle. Ness who really wants to peek this corner. He knows Shazam <laughs> is going to have an angle, or at least someone is going to be looking down long with the Phantom. Oof. It's like he's, he's tapping the mat. He's getting ready. He's energizing, and then he peeks. <laughs> Here's the shot. Oh, my gosh, the cat and mouse. Oh, it's going to work for him. Possibly Shazam still be able to hit the shot here. And knowing the next one has to be close, the ring around the Rosie on default. Is he going to be able to hit it as FNF, FNS comes up big? And now it's Cypher versus Cypher Pocket. Finesse was so clutch against T1 in the 1v1s. The neural theft is going to give him off. all the information. Both Cyphers investing their ultimates in this battle, so it'll be headshots only. The hardest headshots ever. This, the tiny, tiny brain. Tiny mannequin head. See, it's so difficult. It's almost impossible. They try right away. FNS tries to decoy with the gate. Special hands by Dapper. <laughs> it's tickle time. All right, seven health versus eight health. This is a ridiculous fight. And excuse me, 80 health. We'll see if Dapper can land the headshot. He is banking on it. Finesse has played this perfectly, oh. and Finesse is going to find the shoulder. You're, you're not going to see a headshot there. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> not <laughs> what happening a today. And Finesse again clutch. We talked about the man in the matchup against T1. He's done it so many times against teams like Cloud9, Dignitas, and more. But here he is going up against Sentinels after being down eight in a row. They take a three. Woo. You love to hear it. Everyone hiding. Making quick work of one, and we saw FNS take that shot, and then th the pressure's on both of them with the adrenaline pumping on the end on the end of that round. As Envy, like you said, Pocket would love the four rounds here. Let's see if they can grab it. I mean, you look at the stats, and I think Finesse and Shazam have to be two of the top fragging IGLs. Yeah, guaranteed, guaranteed. I, I am on board with that. Here's going to be the peak from Zombs, and what Mummy with the shot. flick finds his belly button. <laughs> C has been opened up. Can they push the spike there? Sinatra through the smoke is spamming, and he's going to connect on Akis with a random headshot. Hits himself a little bit with that shock dart, but also prevents any jump ups. My gosh. This is going to clear soon, and there's the shot. Mummy hits another one exactly like his first. I don't know if it's going to be an easy retake here for Sentinels. They've been slowing down a bit on the ability to get to the post plant. Shot from Caboose. Everybody for Envy just nailing their shots this round. Mummy is back to his peak form. He is flicking like a madman. And even though Sinatra is able to take down Caboose, you have to think that Envy are the heavy favorites here with Spike planted three players on C to defend it. It's the final round as well. So you can all die to the bomb. You don't have to worry about weapons here. But Sinatra says, worry about what? my ultimate. There are two random shots that will land for back-to-back -back kills. Only Mummy alive. He's got to go clutch in the 1v1. I cannot believe Ace. it. I cannot believe it. Sinatra just knows. Shazam himself has said Sinatra's just ultimates out of nowhere that he is so aware of what positioning the enemy team could have so deep into a round. And it's incredible that he continues to hit those. The ace for Sinatra to shut down Envy from getting that fourth round in the first half. Overwatch League MVP, World Cup champion, League MVP he's, as well, in my opinion. I mean, it's just... You seems like him. he's going to add a lot more to that list, Puck. I, I know. It, it's kind of like Psalm. I'm waiting for the day when Psalm and Sinatra are like 35 years old, playing something in 2035, still winning championships together. For now, though, love to see them both moving over here to Valorant, and Sinatra making wow. his presence felt gives Sentinels a ninth round. They are just four away from stealing Envy's first map pick here in the grand final. Things like that to play on the mental. 
knowing it's just so tough. It seems like Sentinels always have an answer when you think the site was yours. Two kills come out of Sinatra, and that could be from anyone, Pocket. There are so many windows of opportunity Sentinels create for themselves here. Envy trying to open up one of those windows of opportunity. Caboose getting aggressive and finds Zom's face and takes it right off. This is so big. We talked about the importance of pistol rounds against Sentinels. Envy, they've struggled with it early on. They've got to win this pistol to stay in the fight. Caboose will be dropped, but Akis is there to score back. So a four on three. Envy still holding strong on defense, and Finesse is going to help from long. Nice pinch coming in as Sinatra is down to 100 health. I thought he was going to take more damage there from Finesse. He is going to be the last hope in a 1v3 and it's not going to happen. Mummy shuts it down and there is the round. Bit of a stall from the dark vision coming in from Calypso on that. A really well played by the defense of Envy. It seemed like Sentinels kind of got hung up there on a ramp. And did not want to come in and follow Sinatra into the site. Pistol round going over to Envy as they do find that fourth round. They were looking for last half. They just had to make it work here. This is the perfect start for Envy. It you really had is. Caboose getting aggressive. He was able to take out Calypso. Then the rest they of the team continues the flank as Finesse pinches. The other three can react and push down A. It was just a sandwich. And it works out, but now you got Caboose with a sniper in hand peeking down long A, and a perfect counter is coming out from the Sentinel's attack. Great way to use the drone, make sure that that Cypher trap is taken away. Now the Jet has even more freedom if she needs to get in. They're going to be pushing right through here. We'll see what happens on this round. Sentinel's just trying to completely overrun the side of Envy. Strong flash slowing them down. But Sentinel still with two players up. Finesse tickling shots back and forth. Long range against Shazam. Akis is going to come in and help him out. And that is going to leave just Zombs left to Oop. stop this defuse. Caboose misses once, misses twice. There's a punish. Oh, paranoia on to one. Akis close enough to still see Zombs as he was caught just on the wing of that. Paranoia in the fifth round here for Envy. We'll see what the strat does become for Sentinels here. They're getting through these rounds, obviously looking to take down Envy. Now that Sentinels has guns, how do they play this one out? And that was a full save last round from the Sentinels. Right. You saw the Owl drone, uh, but that was probably purchased in the first round. Taking a look, yes, yeah, Shazam was able to buy up. He goes with just oh, the light yeah. armor, but this is going to be the first operator of the second half. Shazam, if you looked at the first Bloods, the man was in our top 10 list for getting picks with this weapon. And it's absurd too, able to not set a precedent with those picks, be in different positions all the time to take his opponents off guard, as well as being the IGL. It's, he has not been an IGL throughout his entire, uh, through his entire career, sorry. It did just come in for Valorant for him. So Shazam really learning that very recently and doing an immaculate job at it here. We see a Sentinel's A play, but that spike is still hanging out. So we'll see what they actually decide to do in the end. Envy is going to be set up here for Akis and Caboose to go for the trades. Nice job getting rid of the camera. Dapper wisely backs down, but you're trapped now, sick. And Caboose is going to find Dapper. Didn't feel the presence of Sick in the corner, and Sick mm -hmm. will be able to trade that out. So Akis in a bit of trouble here. He does have all kinds of gear, but in fact, as you take a peek at the minimap, it looks like it's gone now. Yeah. I was looking for it as well as soon as you said that, and it seems like he just has to jump peek continuously, looking up for maybe a dart to come in. Like he, he's like preemptively waiting. He's ready to just shut down any fast intel coming in, and these are the things you need to prep for. If this is genius. Look at the timing. Sinatra is waiting to shoot that dart. Oh my word. Somebody has been watching film. Shout out Ooh. to the coaches here, and Akis is ready for it. Sinatra comes in, Calypso takes him out blind, and it looks like he's gonna have a nice crossfire here, but they double team him from that left side, and Sinatra okay, is just finding utility and rifle kills here as he shuts him down. Mame with the tactical use of dash as he gets in, right within range of this plan. Talk about utility use from Mummy. He throws up the cloud in front of Shazam, doesn't land the op shot, and Mummy buys time for a little bit of Ooh. help before doing the job himself. Envy, they were in a rough spot. 9-3 was the score at the half. They've rattled off three in the most important round right there as they take the operator out of Sentinel's hands as well as all of the assault rifles. It all started here Ooh. as Caboose finds Dapper and Akis ready for the trades. Right in. That's one of the things that becomes tricky with Jet being able to break that movement mold of TAC FPS. 
Got to be ready all the time if she is still up. Nine to six here. Sentinels still looking strong three rounds ahead. But they are run, having some trouble run, here run. as they're getting pushed back and forth between eco rounds. Sinatra once again. Does he find a kill? It seems like it's almost every one. And it's not going to be this time as Sick and FNS start trading for their teams, respectively. Yeah, and this is just a feed up C long at this point. Sentinels know they're not walking away with a round. We'll see how many guns we can take off of the Envy players is the plan. Dapper just spamming through the cage with the Ghost. It's going to take out a camera, but he has been tagged up. They know exactly where the last remaining member of the Sentinels are. But uh, Spike's down, so no need to move if you're Envy. Right. The slow walk by Dapper. I'm going to see if I can get a long flank all by myself and maybe drop a gun out of the hands of Envy. It, what a game so far. Envy as well, putting up decent rounds on defense here. This able to win. retake the sights. Okay, you just found a toy for free. Oh. Toy was broken. Yeah. <laughs> it was super broken. A kiss saying thank you very much for another kill. And that's nice to make sure that he is not, Dapper's not walking away with a weapon yeah. there that they can bonus round into Sentinel's hands. And Shazam again buys down. But he's got full armor this time. And looking at the rounds, that's going to be 2,900. That Sinatra and team are receiving on the side of Sentinel. So add that to the money you see here and then maybe 200 to kill. So it, it's not amazing if they lose this round. They may be able to buy, but not with not much util. You can take a look right there. Seven of the last eight rounds going in favor Jump's of over. Envy. They are You're definitely dead. heating up. And more importantly, they have been making this yep. tough financially for the Sentinels. This is another crucial round as you see the investment coming in. The run it back is good for one. Caboose will be able to stay alive as he returns to his body. Akis on the other side of the wall won't be able to trade out, though, as Sick finds the headshot. It does seem like Sentinels kind of has these angles of Envy being held. Each time they peak, each time they wide swing, Envy loses one or two members to Sentinels moving up more on the map. And they're always winning these I small know exactly trades. Where you are. Neural uplink comes out. And they'll know exactly where everyone is. Six going to enter now, breaking a bit of the utility, and that'll actually be good if they want to go for a second take. Yeah, it's a good thing there was no Acus on the map. You had already been removed, mm -hmm. so the nano swarms don't come into play. Hello. Calypso's going to gather the info, and again, they know exactly where the Sentinels are for now. 40 so seconds left on the clock. Sentinels got to make a move in the next 20. So you don't need to react right away for Envy, but that's starting to weigh in on the back of your mind. Bladestorm is there if they do lose a sight too much. The B-take comes in, and this is pretty normal. Late into a round, a lot of people leave B because of the ability to rush it right away. Dapper always on the flank. This man with a lot of the first bloods. This one coming in a little later to the round, but his positioning usually helps the team take out an impact player on the opposing side. Last time Shazam was looking for Mummy with an operator. The cloud burst and movement threw him off. He's holding a hard angle. And Mummy is going to choose not to challenge. We are just going to give them this round, keep our weapons. Yep. As it's Calypso trying to get far enough away from this blast we're being trapped in. Slowly hitting it for the push here. It looks like we're going to see Calypso looking for a gun and not much coming in from Mummy as he hangs out on the side. The retakes coming in here, uh, not enough time on that, but it definitely helps to kind of pause and see if you can. Whenever you're doing a retake, if you go in right away, you might be caught in the enemy's rotation and have two people looking at you, three people looking at you. When you give a little time for that retake, you're kind of assuring yourself the enemy has a set angle. Maybe you're only in that 1v1 now, so actually giving a bit of time there, which Envy was waiting for and unfortunately lost another member, to take the site again definitely helps. It doesn't always have to be pressured right away unless you're a full five man just running right in. And you saw from the attacking half, Finesse has been so good on pinching. He yeah. was the one trying to pinch, but Dapper was lurking. He right. was just waiting. Right. You now know how Dapper likes to play once they set up on B. How do you deal with the Cypher moving forward? There's always been a little mind games played at C long here. And we'll see if there is an early pick as Mummy may get aggressive on the other side. Zoms oh has boy. been holding this <laughs> angle for the first 15 seconds of the round. We saw actually this this position here being so big by Shanks in the in the Dignitas match, able to grab info so deep onto the attacker side, and it really helps switch up how the defenders can play. Again, there's the info grabbed, and we'll see if that is any movement from Envy. I mean, their positioning right now is fantastic with that kill, so 
just knowing they're a person up gives them a big advantage. It's been a slow push up. That was Zoms' dark cover that just cleared in yeah. Garage. But Sinatra, he cleared it out using the Owl Drone. He's been working side by side with Sick, who hasn't had to invest any curveballs yet. Finesse is going to be found, but what Dapper can't finish the kill. And Envy is rotating really well around this push from Sentinels. They've got him trapped in the middle of the map with Akis still sitting behind a cage. Pucket, that's a great call. Is it, It's so easy to want to challenge somebody that's in your garage. You want to take it back, but you're right. Envy is doing a great job at rotating around, keeping themselves alive, keeping the pressure up as Akis takes down two. Shazam now alone in that B site has to call back for a sick, and he is not going to make it. Yeah, good luck, Shazam. He is going for the miracle play. 13 seconds left. The blades are out. He's not going to find anything, and he's going to lose his gun. Figured he was dead to rights anyway. Ooh. Why not try and do some damage? A 9-3 half all of a sudden is a two-round game as Envy has clawed their way back in this one, 8-10. to ten. And they still have the advantage when it comes to the economy and the weaponry. Really strong mental here from Envy. And two ops. Yes. So really strong economy. And you saw Calypso. He's clean with it. He's been picking up off of right? Mummy's dead body. Yesterday, I was impressed. Now they both have the operator from the get-go, and ops have been critical for these last first bloods. So what is his position? Look at this push down mid. Whoa, Envy right out of the gate. Operator over the shoulder here of Caboose as he heads into window. He's been feeling on point with an opening shot, so he sets that up. And the intel grabbed here from Envy is fantastic already, and it looks like they'll start moving towards A to start things off. Caboose is going to be on the really late flank. Normally he gets aggressive with the run it back. This time I don't think they'll expect it. You and the read run. is here. Three defenders all stacking up in the back of A and Killjoy. She's going to throw down that lockdown. So anyone in the area is going to be dropping their gun and standing still basically for eight seconds. Sick. Go. <laughs> Sick. Oh, he just got out, but he may not be chased. And still a bit of pressure here created on the long portion by Shazam. Mummy pushing through where we saw Caboose previously. He's even deeper now. They're an attacker spawn. Oh my gosh, Bucket. Envy really trying to push themselves to the limit on this one. It may have lost a little too much ground in the sights. Yeah. It's going to be the pressure from the Stinger, and Dapper picks up a free gun. I feel like Envy, oh my word. Envy tried to force that one a little bit too much. After Akis throws down the lockdown, you have a sight taken, and you have two players watching the exit so there's nowhere else to go but back onto the a site but the rotations were kind of thrown off and envy is punished for it sentinels get the job done with a i believe that was a stinger that round and a pistol to go on top of one operator and two ars i feel like at one point in that round sentinels said to themselves why is there up pushing window rush a right now and it just seemed like that was <laughs> It was unstoppable as they could not, or sorry, Envy could not get back into position after really what seemed like a great pincer. Sometimes investing a little too much in that push definitely hurts you in the sites you need to defend. And we'll see here on this next buy. It's going to be guns for Sentinels and Envy going down a bit in cash flow here as they're going to start getting that losing round money. This is a pivotal one for them to get back. I don't know who was the hero of the last round either for the Sentinels, but somebody picked Akis from the window, and that's what opened up this site. So credit mm -hmm. to, I believe it was likely Sick or Dapper making their way through short A. Let's take a look at the push from Sentinels here. They know that Akis is always set up with all of his gear down long A. Caboose Ooh. tries to push forward, but Sick is going to hit him with the curveball instantly. So it's just Akis on A for the moment. Will Sentinels try and force this one all the way in, or will they take their time and back out after getting some utility out? Look at that fast rush towards A long. Sentinels loves to set two back there. You rush it fast, you flash, you don't give Envy the time to set up the strat that you were, use, you were using on defense. So Sentinels just feel like they're in the head of their opponent sometimes with activating a strat immediately on a round when they haven't done it before. Jumping out of the window, Mummy actually gets hit through the wall on that shot, and they may want to take this all the way B. Sentinels rushing in. Not the best cloud is it's going to be Sinatra charging right through, finds Calypso. And it's going to be Dapper on the back end. Remember, Finesse last time got caught in the garage. This time tries to flank all the way around Dapper, but he finds the headshot anyway. It just does not seem like Dapper wants to go down this game. Every time we see the Dapper FNS fight, it is Dapper coming up with a little more finesse. Mame takes down Sinatra. Is the rotation coming in from Sentinels now? 
shot may... by Mummy, not to die instantly, Oof. but there's there's just too many players around. You're not keeping that up. It's also hard to when they're rotating around in your spawn. You're like, okay, I am completely surrounded. Match point now as Sentinels look to take Envy's map in their Haven pick. I see a lot of questions in the chat. Yes, this is the start of the grand finals. This is map number one, and Envy got the picks on map one and map three. Up next, we will have Bind, which is the Sentinels map pick. Very true. But to steal your opponent's map to kick off the grand finals, <laughs> uh, you can't ask for a better start. And it all opened up with Zoms in a 4K 20 rounds ago. Here we go, round 21, and it could be the final one as Sinatra is going to gather the info. Mummy has already popped the blades as it's going to be a weaker buy coming from your defenders. We see Sinatra's drone hovering low, Good looking to break Cypher it. traps as it comes into that C site. And FNS doesn't like that position. He feels no like it's more of a one and done this time. What they were able to do, were they were able to oh push gosh, Zombs Sinatra. up. Sinatra with the Hunter's Fury is going to remove Finesse, so the in-game leader, he can flick around cameras. But that's the only contribution he'll have in this round. Mummy has been holding the door and Sick doing the exact same thing on the opposite end. Mm -hmm. As Sentinels haven't agreed to commit anywhere, they're just trying to do the damage from afar. If a kill comes up as well for Sick coming in here, that's run it back for Phoenix. They have so many options and that may just be a, a smoke long A. They get that, have 30 seconds to hit the site. And it looks like they are going to start creeping towards that A side. A nice cam here revealing everything if they would have had trouble before. And here they go, moving their way down short. Yep. Caboose, he's got a feeling. Oh boy. And now he's going to hear Ooh. it. Around the corner, he's going to get three with the flash. Finds the first on sick. A second curveball is here to punish. But can he connect? Healing himself up while buying time. The Beautiful. volley is there to stall as well. Great defense up to this point, but it was enough time for Sinatra to flank. It's a big kill too. They kill the run it back. Envy has a much greater chance to get themselves back in the sight here. Nice dash through. Can Mame keep himself alive? It's a lot of pincer here coming in from Envy. Looks like Sentinels knows which angle to look. Can Akis be the hero? Sinatra says no. Calypso is going to find him, though. And it's a two on two here, Riv. Slowly moving in. 92 HP here with some armor. Dapper low as we're back onto Zoms, checking his angles, everything that he can. Spam so they know where one is coming from. They have to watch from the smoke. He's almost getting the defuse down, and they killed him right before it goes off. It's at half. It's the 1v1. Dapper's been good, but it's going to be Calypso with a 3K to pick this one up. We're staying alive. Envy is still in it, and they're looking for double digits now. That one came down to the wire, but it was the hero play from Caboose, buying so much time at short, doing the damage, picking up the first kill on sick. And even though Sinatra was able to flank, Akis comes over the top and answers back with a few kills of his own. Envy staying alive in this one. And remember, they barely had weapons that last round. Now they've got a Spectre, they've got a Judge on Mummy. No blades to work with, but you still have Finesse's ult as well as Calypso's teleport if needed. See where the omens are setting up. Smoke window, push mid, coming in from Envy. See if they can get an early frag here. He pushes up all the way to the box. Oh my gosh, sick on the other side of the wall. The game of cat and mouse and Sinatra holds window in the dark vision to make sure they get Caboose this time. And I don't even know if he was looking for that second player in the back. He was just Ooh, already no. pre-aiming. As the jump came in, we're gonna see sick get the info, but only on one. Here we go with the A hit. Dapper's gonna yep. lead the charge. Akis is gonna be the hero if Envy stays alive on this push. I feel like Sentinels is is kind of thinking they have the digital mollies, the Killjoy stuff on that A site. We may be able to just find her and utility. The plan is to go in, and that is actually going to be able to see Akis for a moment as he hides in hell. Dapper takes him down and sends him even further. What a way to finish this. This is the first time Akis doesn't exactly shoot the dart from Sinatra, it yeah. feels like, in this <laughs> half. And he is instantly punished. Sick is around the corner for anyone pushing from the defender spawn. Meanwhile, Dapper setting up to make sure no one's dropping from heaven. Out comes Mummy, though, and he is going to make a count with the judge. There Unfortunately, though, everyone else is waiting on the site. And it will be a 13-9 finish as Sentinels 